Maybe I should go and, and check on Dee because. No, I don't even be. I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lame Dad here. We're doing another episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. We're on season one, episode six, so let's get started. Who is this? I don't know, I've never seen him before. Someone oh. fell asleep in the bar. Not if Harry stinks. Hey, let's go. Oh my gee, oh my god, he shit his pants, D. <laughs> D, he shit his pants. Oh, I don't want to know Gross. that. Ugh, I'm gonna poke him with this. <laughs> He's gonna poke him. Wake up, old man. Wake up! Holy shit, that bitch is dead. Oh my god, it's on the dead guy. The gang finds a dead guy. Well, this ought to do wonders for business. How could you let this happen, Charlie? What? Oh, come on, it's not my fault. The guy orders one drink, he sits down, I don't see him again for the rest of the night. What am I gonna do about this booth? I'll tell you what, I'll get the gasoline. Charlie, we're not gonna burn it. Come on, dude, we're not gonna burn anything. We're gonna serve drinks here today? I don't think the Board of Health would be too keen on that, Mac. I'm sorry, do you see any representatives from the Board of Health here today? Let's just clean up the, the mess and act like it never happened. Around. I'm not getting anywhere near that booth. <laughs> me neither. Can't believe you guys are making me do this. Can't believe you left a dead guy in the bar overnight, dude, so I guess we're even. Charlie, the EMT said he had a heart attack, not Ebola. I just hosed it down. Whoa, whoa, Charlie, stop, 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 stop. God damn it. Oh, yeah. We need to isolate the area, okay? You're just gonna spread whatever parts of him decomposed overnight. No. What are you, a scientist, dude? A scientist? Yeah, Give me the host. science talk. You can just replace science it. Science talk? What the hell is science God, talk, Charlie? It's all ridiculous. Oh, sorry, you know. we're closed. No, we're not. No, we're not. Hey, how you doing? I'm looking for the owner. That's me. Yeah, actually, no, actually I'm the owner. Yeah, but I can help her out. I own the place, though. Yeah, but we own it together, mm, and I can really. help her. Mm. What can I help you with? My name is Rebecca Keene. Huh? I was notified that my grandfather died here last night. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's really horrible. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> So awkward. I just wanted to see where he spent his last night. Hmm. That would be somewhere in this vicinity over here. Over here. I know nothing about him. Yeah. Well, he was a great man. Really? Yeah. Yeah, just a very warm and gentle soul. So you knew him? <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't actually say that I knew him all that well, but uh, we did I, get I knew him pretty well. Yeah, we got pretty close near the end there. Well, listen, I should go. I have to get back to work. I just wanted to stop in. Of course. Yeah, well, listen, if you ever want to stop by, you know, I can I tell you some stories about your grandfather that you would not believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make myself face. available as well. <laughs> Don't worry so. about it. Yeah, anytime. Bye. So they're both going to compete for... What are you doing, dude? Team. She's way out of your league anyway. Out of my league? She's out of your league, dude. Okay, I can get that hey, shit. Hey, guys. A man died here yesterday. His family just abandoned him. Can we think about that for one Damn, second? Yeah. Why the <laughs> hell would we want to think about that? Really depressing, D. It makes me think about Pop Pop is all. Pop Pop is an asshole, sweet D. And I'm placing my bets that that girl's grandfather is an asshole, too. People don't just abandon their parents for no good reason. Have you ever been to a nursing home? People abandon their parents all the time. Sad throwaway <laughs> culture we live in. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie. Hi. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. Listen, I, I wanted to ask you a favor. Will you go to the nursing home with me to see my grandfather? Dennis won't go. Dennis won't go? No, he won't go. And what a jerk. I know. Why don't you just go by yourself? Uh, I have a little bit of a problem with old people. <laughs> it's their hands, mostly. You know how you can see right through them. They're all their inside <laughs> businesses. I'll tell you what. I'll go with you. But you have to let me borrow your car anytime I want. No. Every now and then? No. One time. All right. And you have to take me to lunch twice a week for a year. No, I don't. Once a week. Mm-mm. Today. She's okay. a horrible right. negotiator. Dude, she's coming over here to see me. She's coming over here to see you because you were the one that answered the phone. Dude. Hi, guys. Hey. hey. Is this a bad time? No, no. this is a great time. We, we were just, we were talking we were about your... We were just talking about, <laughs> talking about your grandfather. Mm -hmm. Emotions are running very high around here today. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been a difficult couple of days for me. Yeah, I... So. Try not to think about me, though, in circumstances like this. More importantly, how are you? I feel like Max losing this. Hey, D, D, right? This is your pop-up Just first. hold on a second. What if he asks us to help him go to the bathroom? <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, Jesus. He doesn't even look like a real person. 
Should we go wake him up? No, I don't know. Let's go. No, 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 no. We she's can't go. We can't down here. Let's just let him. There it is. Oh, this is awkward. I'm, I'm yes, not. Yes, come here. Finally come to see me. Come close. My eyesight's not so good. You're a lot shorter than I thought you'd wind up. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm actually still growing, so. These people are in here. They've stolen everything from me. They have? Yeah, well, what do you expect from Jews, Ooh, right, Dennis? Why? Uh... <laughs> Jews, um, maybe I should go and, and check on Dee, because... No, I'll leave her be. I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was a war hero. Really? I want to be buried in my uniform at the Roxboro Storage Facility. I need you to pick it up and bring it here. Oh. Okay. Sure, yeah, I could do that. I have a feeling it was a bad so listen, person. I have a favor to ask you. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Anything. Yeah, you can talk to me because I get things done, so... I'm in charge of putting together a memorial service for him, but I can't seem to find anyone else who really knew him that well. It's not going to be a problem. I knew a lot of his friends. Good guys. Yeah, yeah. Dan. Dennis is willing to go much further with this. Friends. It's not going to be hard for me. Would you like another drink? No, we're fine. This is just goddamn shady. Hey, bud, if you want to back out now, be my oh, guest. Gonna... Okay, I'd be happy to take all the credit for this. I'm not backing down. Right. Get some homeless people hey, to pretend they were his How friends. How would you like to make 20 bucks? Sure. Got some nicer clothes? Didn't think that question through. Before you asked it. Right. right. Holy shit. What's in the box? Okay, guys, have fun. I see you brought some of my grandfather's friends. He loved those guys. Oh, is that your phone? Yeah. You gonna answer that? Uh, well, I, I don't want to be rude. Oh, well, the ringer's going off right in the middle of the funeral. It's gotta be pretty important. Right. Charlie, what do you want? Mac, you gotta come to my apartment right now. I gotta go. It's an emergency. Oh, you gotta leave? That's a shame. So can I borrow your car or what? You've been drinking. Uh... <laughs> He's a good guy. He's just... Got a bit of a drinking problem. Who is that? It's Mac, dude. This better be good. Oh. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Holy crap. So is their grand Dennis D's grandfather was a Nazi. That explains his um his language. It's unbelievable! I know. Let's sell this shit on eBay. No, I thought about that though. I think it's like illegal or maybe a little bit immoral we could sell it to a museum i could live with that i'll tell you a story about him it was christmas eve last year and uh i was at lionel's house making him dinner we got to talking about the spirit of giving and i said lionel why are we just talking about it let's let's put the spirit into action let's go down to the mission lionel said great that's a great great idea Dennis. So we did. We went down there, and not only did we feed every last poor, miserable, precious soul, but we washed the feet of every man, woman, and child there. I'm trying to understand. I think he has no boundaries. Lionel Keen. Lionel. The Dennis lion. Dennis will do whatever it takes to get whatever he wants. Sorry to keep you gentlemen waiting. Not a problem at all. How can I help you? We are going to make your day today, sir. Is that right? Mac, if you will. What in the hell is that? This, my friend, is an authentic Nazi officer's uniform circa 1942. Where did you get this? Let's just say it found its way to us and leave it at that, shall we? I'm guessing you acquired this through illegal means. For me to take this from you would be an extension of that. And secondly, that you would expect it would make my day assumes that I'm interested in profiting off the murder of millions of innocent people. How much will you give us for it? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing or... Nothing. I plan to call the police the minute you guys leave my office. Hey, Pop-Pop. Deandra, what are you doing here? 
Where's Dennis? Oh, um, I just came by myself. Come here and sit down. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember how beautiful you are. And look at these wrinkled old pants <laughs> against no, no, no. your oh, God. young face. Oh, and, and these teeth. <laughs> look, look how straight <laughs> and white. <laughs> Yeah, right <laughs> down the hall. <laughs> oh, gross. We're doing the right thing here, man. Yeah, burn it. yeah, and we probably shouldn't let Dennis know about his grandfather anyway. No. You know, he might just screw with his head. Get on. Get on it. You didn't keep anything or. No. Did you? <laughs> no, dude. I feel like okay. we both kept something. Hey, guys. Just wonder hey, if we're going to hey. figure out what they are. What's up? What you burning? Are. Some trash. Just throw some trash, yeah. Awesome. You know? Hey, listen, you want to hear what happened with that girl? No. You win, OK? I give up. You no, won. You're the no. better man. No, you don't give up. See, I won fair and square. We went head to head, and I came out the better man, just as I predicted I would. So we went back to her house, and we made sweet, passionate <laughs> love. Great. Yeah. Great for you. you. You must be really proud of yourself. Awesome. Your grandfather's a Nazi. <laughs> So they, that's what, that's what Matt got. I don't know how I would react. Oh my god, he cut the hat. That was a wild episode. I gotta say that one was, that was a little more wild than I expected. A little more wild than maybe some of the other ones. Um, good episode though, really funny. Uh, I really like this show because it, 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 you don't really know what to expect with them, but what I am starting to learn is that Dennis, at least, doesn't have any uh, boundaries or barriers on how far he's willing to attempt to get something if he wants it. For instance, with the girl that showed up to see her, her grandfather who passed away in their bar, Dennis was willing to go to extreme lengths to get her into bed. And it worked. Um, but that was a pretty funny episode. I'm excited for the next one. The, the next episode is the, the season finale. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that here soon, and I'll have that reaction up for you guys. All right, take care.